Welcome students to lesson 4. We are still continuing with the types of plant layout. So as you can see we have line or product layout as our last second last uh, types of plant layout. So in the line or the product layout operations and raw materials are performed in a sequence and the machines are placed along the product flow line. So machines are arranged in sequence in which the raw material will be operated upon. In this type of layout, all machines are placed in a line according to the sequence of operation. Each following machine or section is arranged to perform the next operation to that performed by its preceding machine or section. In this layout, raw materials start from one end of production lines and move from one machine to next along sequential path. Line layout is advantageous in continuous production systems where the number of end products is small and the parts are highly standardized and interchangeable. It is suitable for products having steady demand. So as you can see in figure 2.3 here, we have raw material which come at the, the left hand end and the first operation to be performed to this raw material is casting, followed by shaping, then milling, then drilling and lastly we have inspection. After inspection it is then dispatched to the market. So what are the advantages of this type of plant layout? So the advantage, the first advantage is that it involves smooth continuous workflow. It may require less skilled workers. It helps in reducing inventory. Production time is reduced in this layout. So the last type of layout we have in a, a plant system is combinational layout. And a combinational layout typically combine the three layouts we've been talking about. That is the line, the fixed, and the functional layout. So in a combinational, in a combination of process and products layout, it combines the advantages of the both layouts that we have just discussed in our previous videos. Most of the manufacturing sections are arranged in process layout with manufacturing lines occurring here and there scattered wherever the conditions permit. These days, the most of manufacturing industries have adopted this kind of layout. In this type of layout, a set of machinery or equipment is grouped together in section. So they are grouped together in section like 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5 in this figure here shows a group of machineries and equipments so that uh, each set or group of machinery or equipment is used to perform similar operations to produce a family of components a combinational layout is shown here in figure 2.4 whereby the raw material come from one end then we have different sets of lines where the first line here we can say it's used to produce different kind or types of product maybe you are dealing with a coca-cola industry where you produce 250 millimeter bottle and 500 millimeter bottle so this line could be responsible for 250 and this line could be responsible for for 500 millimeter and then the finished product is then dispatched at this far most end so what are the advantages of this type of layout? There is better coordination, simple production planning and control are achieved in this layout. Another advantage is that for the same amount of production, less space requirement for this layout is necessitated. Overall processing time of product is very very less. This layout involves automatic material handling lesser material movement and hence leads to minimum possible cost of manufacturing so what are the disadvantages of this layout 
One, it's very difficult to increase production beyond the capacity of the production line. When single inspector has to look after many machines, inspection becomes difficult. This layout is very less flexible for product change. The rate or the pace rate of working depends upon the output rate of slowest machine and hence leading to excessive idle time for other machines if the production line is not adequately balanced. The last disadvantage here is that machine being put up along the line, more machines of each type have to be installed for keeping a few as standby because if one machine in the line fails it may lead to shutdown of the complete production line that is why the line or product layout involves heavy capital investment so where can we apply this type of uh, layout as i told you before it's mostly adopted by many industries modern industries and it is possible in where an item is being made in different types and sizes so the machineries and manufacturing equipment are arranged in process layout but a group of number of similar machines is then arranged in a sequence to manufacture various types and sizes of the product. So students, this marks the end of our discussion today. Let's again meet in the next class. Thank you for watching and listening.